Shalom, I'm Rabbi Leo and I'm here to transform your day. Today's topic is life coaches. Now the life coach business in America today is a two and a half billion dollar industry growing at around 18% a year. And apparently there are two major growth drivers for this market. Number one, our schools apparently are not providing us with the sort of social skills that we need to survive in life beyond just maths and English and a few other subjects. And therefore the life coaches come in to fill that gap. And secondly, we have a generation of millennials for whom it's not sufficient anymore just to make money, but they actually want to feel that they're doing a great job fulfilling themselves and gaining job and life satisfaction. Enter the life coach, the millennials psychologist. Now it's interesting that the Torah also advocates for us to get a life coach. In fact, right at the beginning of the Torah, God creates Adam and he's alone. And so God creates Eve and describes her as a helper against him. The rabbis in the Talmud argue, what does this mean, a helper against him? Surely if Eve is his helper, she's not against him. And if she's against him, she's not really his helper. And one of the rabbis answers beautifully and explains she is his helper because she is occasionally against him. She can criticize him. What does this mean? It means that our parents will love us unconditionally and will rarely criticize us dramatically when we go off course, particularly when we're grown up. Our friends also will love us unconditionally to a point and if we start straying off perhaps they'll stop being our friends and that will be it. So neither of those two groups will really impact our behavior. Enter the spouse who lives with us 24-7. Suddenly if we start straying off course and they see that it's affecting us and perhaps them, it's in their interest and our inter my interest for them to set me straight. Our spouse is effectively our life coach. And not only that, we are their life coach. Two people living together, life coach for one another, ensuring that each one can be the best that they can be and improving the lives for one another. That's the role of a spouse, according to our Torah. Have a great day.